Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of my adventures into 3D printing. This is John Reinhardt here with Reinhardt Group LLC. And today we're going to level the bed on my Solvo SV06. And what I thought was gonna be an easy video turned into me almost destroying the nozzle on my brand new 3D printer. So sit back, subscribe, and don't make the same mistakes that I did. Now before I delve into the problem that I had and you most likely have, there's a few things that we have to do first. In my last video I talked about switching from 230 to 115, so I have switched it to 115, so we'll go ahead and start the machine up. Sega. And now that it's turned on, our first step is going to be the Auto Z Align. So hop in here, go to bed leveling, and go to Auto Z Align. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring it down close to the bed, take it all the way up, and then bring it down close to the bed again to help the machine figure out the distance between the extruder and the bed. Now the next thing we have to do is get everything hot because as metal gets hot, it expands. And the 3D printer needs that expansion to correctly calculate the distance between the bed and the nozzle. This again is another very simple process. Just go into our menu, go down to bed leveling, click on auto home. And then we're going to click proceed to get things heated up. And then it will start to warm up here. You'll start to see the nozzle on the left and then the bed on the right. The bed will heat up to about 60 to 61 degrees. And then the nozzle heats up to about 120 degrees. And now this is the really, really important part that could save you from ruining your brand new nozzle on your brand new 3D printer. Do you see on the screen where it says 5.06? That would be the distance right now from the nozzle to the bed. From stock, these things come with a five millimeter gap. This gap has to be set back to zero or else you're going to level the bed in a way where it will take the extruder and it will jam it into the bed and break it. Again, simple fix, no problem. Click our button, get into our main menu. And this time we're gonna go to prepare. Click on prepare, scroll down to move axis. And then we're gonna move our Z axis. And now this is giving you an option to move it by 10 millimeters, one millimeter, or 0.1. So right now we're off 5.06, so we're gonna go down to the one millimeter. We're gonna bump it down. There it goes, perfect. So we're at zero, zero. All right, now that we're completely level at zero, zero, you need a piece of computer paper, which is about 0.2 millimeters thick. And we're gonna take this computer paper and put it between our extruder and our bed. And then we're gonna manually adjust our extruder down to where we have just a little bit of friction with that paper. Now, in order to manually adjust, we're just gonna go into our main menu, go down to bed leveling, and then we're gonna go to probe Z offset. And now your offset, we're going negative. We're not going positive, we're going negative. Now, typically, with a two millimeter piece of paper, you're anywhere between 1.620 and two millimeters. So we're going negative 1.620. Let's see how that looks. And to me, it looks like we're, we're there. We're there. I might adjust it to 1.63. Perfect. After you feel a little friction with your computer paper, you have to go back in, scroll down to bed leveling, and then we're gonna hit store settings. Now that 5.06 is where my problems came from. So from the factory, there is a five millimeter gap that is just assumed. So when I am leveling my bed, I'm not at negative 1.620 because of that five millimeter gap. And on the bottom of the extruder is the nozzle and it's gonna take your nozzle and it's gonna shove it straight into that bed. So when you're doing your initial setup, you have to check that screen to where it said 5.06. If it says anything other than zero, zero, hop back in the prepare screen, make that Z axis to zero, zero, and you should be good. Nobody talks about that. I can't believe you cannot find any information about that anywhere. I only solved this problem by digging through Reddit. It took me freaking an hour to dig through Reddit to find the answer to this problem. But now we have completely instructed the machine on where everything is located at. All we have to do is level the bed. So we're just going to go back into our main menu here. Down, bed leveling, and then easy peasy, level bed. And then what it's going to do is it's going to map out 25 points on this bed. Any type of grinding that you hear is normal. She's done. All right, we got our 25 points all mapped out. What we're gonna do is go back in here, go down to bed leveling, scroll all the way down to where you see the store settings again and click the store settings button and you're good to go. And now you are ready to put some filament in there and get to printing. If you guys found this video helpful, please hit that like button. I would so greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss all my epic content I have coming out on 3D printing. I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. This is John Reinhardt here with Reinhardt Group LLC. Be safe.